What is going on everyone? The Antivirus Viewer here and today we'll be reviewing a Vera Free Antivirus with uh, with online armor uh, as our firewall. And yeah, so the only setting that I've changed was the uh, under real time protection we have the under the files we have use smart extensions except um, and not use file extension list. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK on that and uh, the antivirus up to date I just updated a minute ago so I guess there are not going to be any updates so um, just a quick say uh, just a quick thing Avira doesn't slow your system down but I, after I've installed online armor I've seen a lot of system slowdowns as you can see the redrawing and all that stuff is so lucky now I don't know why, maybe it's online armor, or maybe that's the machine. But I've seen the system slow down. Anyways, as you can see, the user interface looks really nice and I quite like the layout and all that stuff. Um, the only things like these tabs over here, um, they could do something with this, but other than that, it's okay. So as you can see, I have a mirror free and I haven't messed with online armor. It's just the normal settings that I've just updated before. Um, so as you can see, we have firewall, domains, programs, other runs, and it has an anti-key logger. It has the host file, we want to edit the host file, uh, history, and options. So I'm just going to go ahead and close out of that. And now I'm going to go ahead and open Internet Explorer. And I'm going to go ahead and first copy the first link we have. I have five malware links. We have... Uh, one phishing website and then other this is screensaver these are exes i'll have some links if the others don't work so uh let's just go ahead and start let's paste the first link and as you can see it's a dogs okay so the web page can be found was dead so we're gonna replace that later let's paste this in svhost.exe um, some of these are the same as the um, as I've tested with MCSoft, and the malware link, the malware pack that I have is the same as yesterday. So, yeah. Okay, so the first one goes right through. I don't see any pop ups, I don't see anything. Um, Avira real time protection is on. I didn't see anything, so I guess I was not blocked. And that was allowed. That was it. Now let's go ahead to spools.exe. Space this in. Okay, so we're waiting. Uh, let's just go ahead to server. The screen saver. Until that finishes, just go ahead and open a new tab here. Paste it in here and let's click enter. And so this requires a program that you don't have installed. So I was dead too. And that was dead. Are you serious? Okay, that's dead. I'm gonna consider it as dead. So we have three dead links, and you and I only have two for replacement. So yeah, I'm gonna go with this. Okay, this was dead too. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go with 2.exe Okay, so that is allowed to download And it just got right through So let's just go ahead and open task manager As you can see we have we don't have any processes that I can see that are malicious but okay both of them are allowed to go through so uh, we have th four dead links and we'll be try two so I'm gonna go ahead and get two more uh, I'm gonna get two more and I'll be right back Alright, so I've got the links here, and let's just go ahead and paste this right here. The next the link, this is an adware, real player download to the XC. So let's just wait. 
Okay, so I don't see any pop-ups from Avira and that's kind of weird because in my experience, in my own tests with other custom settings and all that stuff, it popped up and blocked. I don't know. So that seems to go right through. And please correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I just see that it gets right through. I don't know, I did a test with Avira and it actually didn't let stuff go through. So it allowed all the all these and also I'm just gonna say it again, please correct me if I'm wrong. But it allowed them and it seems like they done something and they crashed or they didn't do anything at all. I don't know. So uh the installer, I forgot to say about the installer. The installer was 4 megabytes, but the installation progress was really, really slow. I had to download the antivirus, I've downloaded this, I've installed it, and they had to download the antivirus, and then it had to download the antivirus, and then we have to update the antivirus and all that stuff. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and go and get my malware links. Or I'm gonna get my 500 viruses. Um, as I've said before, they are the same as the uh, MCSoft test, so I'm expecting it to do a real good job on that. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and drag the malware, and I will be right back when I'm done. 489 items right here. I'm gonna leave it there and I'm gonna do a right click scan just to make a viewer's life easier. Uh, just do a right click scan. Um, as you can see, it's detecting them but doesn't allow me to end the actual real time protection. So I'm gonna leave it here and I'm gonna do a scan for 189 items and I'll be right back when this is done. Okay, so I am back and <laughs> Only Armor seems to be allowing access to Avira scanning engine. Uh, anyways, uh, as you can see from 420, if I double click samples, we have 73 items left. And the real time production is stopped. So, 73 items. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the calculator. And let's just see, 490 minus 73 divided by 490 equals, let's say, the texture rate of 85.10% or 85.1%, which is not okay, because these are 5 days old, these are the most recent malware samples that I can get. There are five days old, and the detection rate, detection rate is not good at all. It's below average for these old malware samples. Oh, look at that! We have a lot of the same hardware. What? But I don't know. Wow, these are the same malware. Okay, so it's done. They just run something except the adware. So this allowed this. Okay, so a dangerous programs program wants to run. It's Xylem Games. Um, Parent Program Explorer. What does that mean? Online Armor has detected that the file is a virus or dangerous program. What should I do? Block. The program was determined to be dangerous. Highly recommended that you block the action. So let's run safer here. Let me just see. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on block as it said, and here we go. Um, now I'm just gonna run the adware once. I'm not gonna run any of the others because there's this different variants. So this has allowed access to this adware. So I'm just gonna double click this. And as you can see, now it runs. Okay, this is a dangerous program, so we're gonna block this. And I'm gonna install the adware. 
um, as you can see they're just fake uh, I can't close it because it's just gonna minimize so let's say it's stalling your software we can't right click and close it we can only minimize it so as you can see I'm gonna let the adware do its work since it's not locked uh, and we're just gonna see so this is a dangerous program we're just gonna go ahead and click on block and let's go ahead to this program this is like a tree okay this is a dangerous program we're gonna block it and it's blocking this nice and this is a dangerous program too so we're gonna block it too so that's all I can get let's, let's just run one more variant of the adware and we'll just see so this has allowed the access to this so I don't see okay here we go it's installing my software <laughs> installing CZ search um, still allowing it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna okay here we go uh, make sure that enable read time friction is on something that didn't let me to turn off even though I clicked it and stuff but anyways um, I'm gonna leave it running in the background for just some second like just for five minutes I'm gonna reboot I'm gonna do a scan with Hitman Pro and I'm gonna do a scan with another anti malware scanner and I'll be right back oh okay so online armor has found this online armor has said an installer wants to run and this program is probably an installer wow what should I do investigate if you're intentionally installing software and you trust this that free knowledge.exe check trust this program install mode and I click allow if you if this alert appeared without known action by you particularly if you're currently surfing the internet you should consider blogging it so um a person would just say allow because they're installing with the fusion installer as you can see right here uh, it's just gonna say allow it because I've just accepted to run this um, but yeah you know speed it up free knowledge.exe and still installing all the other stuff um, a normal user just click allow oh we have another alert here a better okay but in this case I'm just gonna block it so here we go it, and it's all worth to run too AFF setup.exe <laughs> um, and here we go investigate again so a normal user we're just gonna say click it we're just gonna click allow because they've installed they just ran the fusion installer they didn't know that this was an adware or something all right so um, hidden pro and malware bytes finished scanning and uh, Hitman Pro found three items a re square and then the Jot Z, which the adware installed. Uh, but uh, Malwarebytes found quite a, long, quite a lot of items here. Um, and all are PUPs, potentially unwanted programs, and they're not really a threat. But they can be considered as a threat. Um, but as you can see we have registry keys, files and folders um, and all from that adware so um, yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and close all of that and yeah so this was the review with uh, for Aviva with custom settings uh, so as you can see everything is enabled everything is okay um, but uh, being on with custom settings isn't actually that powerful as you saw it didn't let any major threats it only let one re square but it just let some PUPs and it crashes quite a lot as you can see we don't have a viewer running now anymore what if I go to task manager maybe you can see it there but still okay here we go just re relaunched itself <laughs> 
It only had the tray working. Where's the other things? And Navira crashes. Uh, so, um, yeah, that was the review of Avira free antivirus with um, with MCSoft Online Armor as the firewall. And yeah, so thank you for suggesting me this review. Thanks a lot. I will have your name into the screen right now. Um, and yeah, if anyone wants to suggest me anything to do else, like another antivirus or another combo, uh, be sure to comment me and I'll be sure to do it. Um, and yeah, so that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching.